Hello, and welcome back to our Concrete Connect video series. My name is Philip Strogan, Service Manager at Zimmerman Industries. Since we are headed into the cold weather season, I would like to take this opportunity to review our basic winter operations and maintenance procedures. Adhering to these simple procedures will ensure that the concrete produced will give the end product desired by both you and your customers. The concrete industry defines cold weather as a period when for more than three consecutive days, the average daily temperature is less than 40 degrees, or the air temperature is not above 50 degrees for more than half of any 24-hour period. While most of us think that cold weather are only occurring in the northern states, many southern states also experience these weather conditions. First, we'll start off by discussing handling materials during cold weather periods. Protect your aggregates from freezing by covering them with a tarp, thermal blanket, or move the aggregates indoors. If these options are not possible, loading the aggregate at the end of the day and parking the unit indoors will help. If you cannot park the unit indoors, do not load the materials at the end of the day, as the materials may freeze to the bins. If the aggregates are frozen, prior to loading, tumble the materials to uncover any frozen sections. Set aside or crush the frozen clumps. Remember, frozen aggregate will create an uneven delivery and they may cause a large fluctuation in the moisture levels of the concrete produced. Water is often heated during cold weather to raise the temperature of the placed concrete. If you are using hot water, the maximum allowable temperature in your Zen mixer is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Whether or not you are using hot water, keep in mind that many of the water lines are small and are more likely to freeze than the reservoir. When driving your unit, the temperature that the lines are exposed to is the windshield temperature, making the temperature far lower than the actual air temperature. These easy steps will help you avoid frozen water problems. First, turn the ball valve at the bottom of the water tank to the all position. Then remove the water strainer, drain the water and replace. Open all drain cocks on the water circuit and make sure that the water shutoff valve and the metering valve are open so that this part of the circuit can drain. At the top of the water pump, there is a cross fitting. On one leg of the cross is a shutoff valve for the washout hose. Disconnect the hose from this fitting and open the valve. Drain the washout hose. At the center of the cross fitting is a small stem fitting. The cap on this fitting can be removed and the air hose can be utilized to blow any water out of the lines. When arriving at the job site, reverse these steps to prepare for production. If you are using admixtures, read the manufacturing instructions regarding the storage of the admixture and any temperature limitations. If you are diluting the admixture with water, it will affect the freezing temperature of the product. As with the water lines, the admixture delivery lines are exposed to the windshield conditions when driving a unit. Zimmerman Industry recommends that you follow these simple steps. Shut off the air supply to each admixture tank by closing the ball valve. Once you have closed this valve, open the dump ball valve to release the compressed air from the tank. Shut off the valve at the bottom of each admixture tank and remove the strainer and drain tank. Open drain cocks on each admixture circuit. The first is located at the rear of the operator's panel and on top of the flow meters. The second is located at the end of the hose that comes out below the water flow meter. Water or pressurized air can be used to flush out lines and flow meters. When arriving at the job site, reverse these steps for concrete production. Finally. The air system on your Zoom mixer is also affected by the cold weather conditions. Turn the ball valve that supplies the air system to the all position. Open the valve at the bottom of the water separator and drain any water from the bowl and release all pressurized air from the system. Protecting your aggregates and draining your water, admix, and air systems will not only ensure the concrete produced meets the result desired, but will also help you keep your maintenance and part costs of your Zoom mixer to a minimum. Zimmerman Industries is here to assist you with any problems, questions, concerns you may have during all weather conditions. I thank you for being our customer and sharing time with me today.